Hey guys, welcome back to another Friday Family Devotional. Have you ever had a dream where you're thirsty? I'm talking like beyond thirsty type of thirsty. The kind of thirsty that causes your tongue to stick to the roof of your mouth. Then, you, why is that not playing? Because I hit the play button. Hey guys, welcome back to another Friday Family Devotional. Have you ever had a dream where you're thirsty? I'm talking like beyond thirsty type of thirsty. The kind of thirsty that causes your tongue to stick to the roof of your mouth. Then you take a drink of water in your dream and you're so excited, but it, it doesn't help. You're still thirsty. Then you drink more, still thirsty. You frantically start trying to drink more and more water, but you're still thirsty. Finally, you wake up and realize that you never actually had any water. It was just a dream. No, it never happens to you. It happens to me all the time. Today, we're continuing our dive into the Beatitudes from Matthew 5. We've learned what it means to be poor in spirit, to mourn over our sins, and that the meek will inherit the earth. Well, today, we find out that the blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. It's from Matthew 5, 6. Jesus tells his followers that they are blessed if they hunger and thirst for righteousness. What does that even mean? There are things in this life that are tangible and, and things in this life that are intangible. A tangible thing would be like an orange or a book or a lamp or even the original adult T-Rex from the first Jurassic Park movie. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> Which I may or may not have. An intangible thing would, would be happiness or friendship or in this case, righteousness. You can't touch righteousness. You can't hug it. You definitely can't eat or drink it. So how are you supposed to thirst or hunger for righteousness? A hunger and thirst for righteousness is an intense desire for the things of God. To desire to become more and more like Him. To think like Him. To care about the things He cares about. To hate the things He hates. Eclas There's bugs out here, guys. Ecclesiastes 3.11 tells us that God has put eternity in our hearts. That means when God created us, he, he created us for Himself. We're created to bring Him glory and to live for Him. When Jesus says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, He isn't only saying that those that have an intense desire for the things of God, the scriptures also tell us that God is the only thing that can satisfy those desires. When we were created, we were created with a purpose and that purpose is to glorify God. Some people choose not to believe the, the truth that they were created for that purpose. But God's children, we know that truth and strive to fulfill our purpose. We all have a hole in our soul. Many people recognize that and that emptiness and try to fill it with many different things like money, fame, or power. But none of that works. God has placed in us that hole and He is the only one that can fill it. Augustine once said, you have made us for yourself, speaking of God. And our hearts are restless until they rest in you. These bugs. To seek after God, that's what Jesus is talking about when he says righteousness. is to look for the only source that can, that can fulfill your hunger and your thirst. The only source that can fill the hole in your soul. But when we seek after him and he satisfies your hunger and your thirst, it makes you all the more hungry and thirsty. Hungry and thirsty for him until it absolutely consumes you. When we seek after him, that's all we want to do is spend more time with him. You want and desire to be reading his word. You find yourself in prayer all the time, just talking with God. You just can't get enough. To be absolutely consumed by a desire to know God more, to be more like him, and you want to be with him more and more. That's the exact place our soul wants to be. And that's what it means to hunger and thirst after righteousness. So as we go throughout our week, begin to read your Bible, begin to pray, because that's how we become more and more thirsty for God and for the things of righteousness. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, help us to, to hunger and thirst after your things, after the things you care about, the things that you love. Lord, help us to live more and more like you and do this every day in filling the hole in our soul with you. We love you so much and thank you for allowing us 
to experience what it means to really hunger and thirst after you. Help us to do that this week. In Jesus' name, amen. It's good to be with you guys. Join us next week for another Beatitude.